हेलो नमस्ते आई होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन एंड स्टेइंग हेल्दी फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माई डीपेस्ट ग्रेटिट्यूड फॉर दिस प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर एंड एक्सप्रेस माई थाट्स थाट्स वॉट आर दीज थाट्स इन बेसिक लेम एंड लैंग्वेज थाट्स आर वॉट वी सी एंड वॉट वी फील अ माइंड एंड एंड बॉडी आर वे फास्टर एंड स्मार्टर दैन वी थिंक इट इज बट वॉट वी डोंट रियलाइज इज दैट वी हैव कंट्रोल ओवर आर थाट्स it's on us how we want our body and our mind to perceive these things and these situations differently especially when they go wrong how do we bring that change in us my friend that's constant and conscious effort that we need to put every day with our inner child in order to understand make it understand that how to perceive these situations differently the way we see things the way we act the way we thinks are all connected Today I am Rinalini Nair I am here to present my learnings from my experiences and how I constantly work on my inner child in order to live a life where I never lose hope I was put into Bharatanatyam classes when I was 4 years old back in 2000 I remember when I went on stage for my Arangetram that is the first stage performance for a classical dancer as a recognized classical dancer I remember myself not being scared I was not at all nervous and I did not have any stage fright I went on that stage like a pro. When today I look back at those photos and videos, I wonder how am I even performing? How am I even expressing? So there's this concept, there's this thing, one of the main important elements of classical dancing that is abhinaya. Abhinaya is basically when the classical dancer is expressing the emotion, the feeling, the mood of the whole piece of the whole routine through its face, through her face and body. And When I look back today and I see myself doing all those expressions I wonder what am I even doing how am I even doing because probably I wouldn't even realize what I'm exactly trying to express there but the confidence with which I kept going on I sure did mistakes I did many mistakes but the confidence with which I kept doing that and kept going on gives me strength and hope today like if that 9 year old could go on stage like a pro and do it without thinking what so many people the audience the unknown audience would think and how that thing would turn out to be you can do it i did it you can do it and we all can do it this is how my journey in dancing started i remember during my training years in bharatanatyam i used to look up to my seniors who used to do this another style called mohini atam mohini atam is from kerala bharatanatyam is from tamil nadu and all these dance forms have something to their movement which you know kind of makes it unique and different from other dance forms for example bharatanatyam is all about precise movement these movements are very sharp there are these straight lines there are these angles and in mohini atam on the other hand it's all about flow there are these wavy and you know the circular movements that are there which makes this art form so graceful that i kind of got roped into it i completed my formal training in mohini atam i had my arangetram i remember in my childhood like i used to always go and watch these recitals from all these renowned artists and one of such times i got to witness and see kathakali kathakali is now another style from kerala the first day the first time the first moment when i saw this style i was in love with this style i really wanted to try it out because the costume the whole ambience of the show was just magnificent because at that time not many females used to do this sty- style i was a little hesitant to try it at first but by then my brother had also started training in this style and when i saw him doing his arangetram and all the process that went behind his show and the backstage process and everything i got so intrigued and i was so curious that i had to find it out how it felt and then i got myself enrolled it's been 10 years and i'm still in of this art form due to covid and my further studies i couldn't continue for last 2 years but i can't wait to get back at it all these classical dance forms has not only helped me shape as an artist but as an individual also in all these art forms we play we live different characters we play these different characters and roles which are from mahabharata ramayana tales of lord rama lord krishna lord shiva and so many now these classical dance forms has also evolved so much that they have started to adapt stories from western like for example macbeth othello and many more here you get to be the storyteller and this is one of the things that i love about classical dance forms 
when you are telling the story when you are performing when you are expressing as a different actor you try to think and see things in a different perspective you put yourself in their shoes and comprehend things in a way that might help you you know perform better express better on stage training in different styles has not only helped me learn dance and move but also helped me empathize better training in these dance forms has also given me this better conscious i feel you know when i think of it like there are these different practices and traditions that have been passed on from generation to generation without being questioned when i hear these episodes and scenes from different epics that i have you know heard growing up i feel why were these episodes or scenes never questioned for example would arjuna still be the best in archery if guru dronacharya wouldn't have asked eklavya's thumb as guru dakshana would favorism as concept would still be there second shikandi who was born as female to king dropad the king of panchala was transformed as brother and was accepted by the society by her parents by the family but today change of gender is something that people are not comfortable talk even talking about why is that i don't mean to disrespect but the intention is just to introspect and all these questions kind of give me better conscious and give me a better perspective to look society in a way where i find that everyone feel inclusive and feel accepted now what helps me understand myself better that's freestyling and free movement during my college year side by side i started training in these western street styles these are hip hop whacking and dance all which helped me introduce to the concept of freestyling freestyling is basically when your body reacts and responds to the music you listen when we listen to our favorite music there is this natural movement that comes from our body sometimes is rocking rocking of the head the nodding of the head for some it may be swaying and swinging of the body it's how we want to listen to the music and how we want to perceive the music just like in classical dance forms these street styles also have a lot of history behind them there is this voice there is this culture that speaks about freedom of expression and they own it for me hip hop has helped me feel confident and transparent dance hall has helped me feel comfortable in my own skin and sexuality whacking on the other hand has helped me accept and embrace my different selves all these styles that i have spoke about has helped me shape me today as a person that i am now you must all be thinking that you know these dancers live or artists live are so happening and they are always smiling they are always dancing it looks like there is no pressure there is no stress only but that's the pressure that's the challenge that we make it look like as if there is no stress and no pressure as an artist we constantly try to give our best we are never satisfied with our last run we have this attitude of you know bus last ek aur bar ek run aur because we are never satisfied with that perfect we do not have the definition of perfect and no one is interested to know what actually goes behind the stage or what goes inside us there was this time when i felt trapped there was this creative blockage i had stress for you know future financial security and there was so much of competition around me i felt like i just couldn't create i tried i tried and this is where my bust last ek aur bar chance helped me sail through this is when i realized the importance of taking break just like when a phone or a laptop gets heated up because of overuse we kind of put it on recharge or say you know reboot or maybe we restart it similarly when we as a body and and our mind get tired it's okay to take a break you know when things get overwhelming it's okay to take a pause and just process it will help you for better functioning and smooth functioning in fact you will reconnect with yourself during this break time is when i found out about movement therapy and today i'm officially a trained dance movement therapy practitioner dance movement therapy is basically use of movement through which an individual achieves emotional physical social and cognitive integration when stress is not released out of our body out of our system and we don't let it out or we don't vent it out it kind of stays back and it causes discomfort and sometimes pain it is very important that you let all the stress out of your system time to time 
it helps you be aware of your body of yourself in general as whole it has taught me that every movement little big every movement is important not only for dancers but for everyone it has helped me unfold so many layers of myself people talk about mental health only when they feel low or they are stressed or in fact when they are going through a say depressing phase but my point is that we should work on our mental health on a daily basis it's not a one day job it's not a one week job not even a one month job it's a lifelong work in progress we should prioritize mental health at all times just like when we twist our leg or say we cut our hands or you know we get little cuts here and there we go to a doctor and then we apply medicine similar concept we need to go to therapy when we hurt inside or when we hurt here when something is bothering us here it's okay to go to therapies irrespective of what job you are doing or what age you are during all these years as much as grateful i am for all the opportunities and for all the love that i have received from my art i am genuinely very proud of myself for not giving up the one lesson that i have learned is that one must always keep trying especially when in doubt go for it it doesn't matter how it will turn out if it doesn't work out you will learn or if it does work out it will be an experience that will stay with you forever allow me to share an experience here when i was in my 12th standard we all had to take physical education as a sixth subject i was not an athlete type of a student i was pretty decent in my academics also not a great student but i remember i decided to take break from my training because i wanted to concentrate on my studies but i remembered that there was this one senior who took bharatanatyam as a sixth subject me and my parents did a little research and found out that cbc offers you a list of subjects from which you can choose any subject as your sixth subject and here i saw kadakali as an option i was so happy and relieved me and my parents were quite adamant that i will have kadakali as my sixth subject i was very happy my school my teacher the boards were not agreeing to it initially because you know they would have to make one paper specifically for me and it was kind of a you know big task for them but i kept trying to convince them we sent out a lot of letters to the board to the principal and so many people that eventually they had to agree and i had kadakali as my sixth subject what happened next was something that makes me believe that the only mantra to learn to grow to improve is that you keep trying i got a call from hindu after the results were out they interviewed me and they asked me about how i got kadakali as my sixth subject and everything initially i was very confused what was this all about and the next day there was this headlines saying that the De- delhi girl has created history and i was like what is happening that is when i realized that i was not the only person to sit for that exam and gave that exam but i was the only person in whole india and for the first time i am attempting it so i was the first person to give that exam as well and later on limka books of record also included my achievement in 2017 edition so my point here is dare to turn those doubts to your dream believe in yourself and keep trying there will be problems in every twist and turns of your life that's inevitable also these tough situations make you appreciate yourself better you kind of try to appreciate all your little big efforts that you put into a situation in order to overcome that situation and that is where you try to be a better person and you grow as a person here let me share one of my life changing experiences with you after my 12th after my results came out and everything being my enthusiastic self i joined i enrolled into contemporary classes and on the very second day only i twisted my leg and my knee cap shifted and i could literally see it for me i could see myself on wheelchair for the rest of my life my dancing journey was over and everything all these negative thoughts were constantly going on my head so also i had my eca trials that is extra curricular activity trials for college admissions were around the corner like in just couple of weeks so there is a saying that my father keeps saying that you know whenever you are in a situation where you feel that you are under prepared you should just go for it and attempt whatever little you know but attempt it with full confidence don't care what the consequences will be because obviously you are already ready for the worst and 
just in case if it works out it's like bonus for you and that thought constantly kept me motivated and i did a lot of self talking and i spoke to my guru and my parents that i will give this eca trials by just sitting and just doing abhinaya i just performed through my face and through my expression i didn't dance on my legs and uh, i got selected i got the college that i wanted for myself and that day i realized that even though you are putting yourself in a situation you are putting your vulnerable self out there you should believe in yourself and you should go through with the idea so be grateful be appreciative of all the support that you get and people around you and everything but also do not undervalue your own effort you know when you take decision it's like you are taking the responsibility for your behavior and for your conditions coming ahead of you remember our behavior is a result of our decisions and not our conditions today when i look back the only thing constant is me dancing i have danced in a small room when no one is watching me as if millions are watching me and i have danced in front of audience big small as if no one is watching me i have danced on the streets i have danced on the wings i have danced at the center of the stage i have danced when i am sad i am danced when i am happy i have won i have lost but then who hasn't at the end of the day we all are in this together and if given a thought we all are dancing but on different tunes of life so let's stay hopeful and keep trying thank you andhero mein roshni ka kaam kare duniya mein kudrat jaise bas saath rahe gaaye jo bagan se chahe jo amne se